Do you know that sensation that you have when you are at the peak of a roller coaster and you're looking down and you feel that heightened sense of anxiety, that sense of fear? That's exactly how it feels when somebody has a panic attack or a panic disorder. Let's talk panic cycle. What we're gonna do, we're gonna make the panic cycle our friend. So what I'm speaking about is how the panic response gets initiated and how it gets maintained. Again, we're making it your friend. So panic cycle. So first of all, we have a situation and maybe that was where I was in bed and I was anxious and stressed and all of a sudden I started noticing all these things and the panic trigger was, oh, my heart's beating fast. And then all of a sudden my quick thought, my initial thought is, oh my gosh, I think that I'm gonna die. I've never felt this way before. And then know that every feeling is preceded by a thought. So immediately I start having feelings of worry and fear and I'm scared. And then all of a sudden there's some bodily sensations. And with those bodily sensations, I am scared to death because now I'm having disaster thoughts. Like I'm actually going to die. I start catastrophizing and then the feelings get worse, those sensations get stronger, and the catastrophizing continues. I want you to know though, we can intervene at any time. You can be healed without the use of medication if you are willing to do the work to get over it. The problem is that people want to avoid the attacks, which only reinforces the panic attack strength. You can't avoid them or situation. So the solution is twofold. You have to tame your nervous system. If you remain in fight or flight, you cannot make rational decisions like, it's okay, I'm not going to die from this. So we first have to target your fight or flight system by practicing diaphragmatic breathing. And I would suggest three times a day for three minutes, this type of breathing creates the relaxation response by stimulating the vagus nerves that extend to the gut. When stimulated through diaphragmatic breathing, that's tummy breathing, the parasympathetic nervous system is turned on. The parasympathetic nervous system is your friend. This is the opposite of the fight or flight experience. If you have seen a baby sleep, you know what this looks like. Babies often sleep with their arms way above their head and their little bellies are going up and down, up and down, the chest is still. This is a wonderful example of what it looks like to do diaphragmatic breathing. Unfortunately, adults left the diaphragm, went to the upper chest. But if you wanna get over your panic, then you gotta breathe like a baby. Once we become masters at diaphragmatic breathing, we can then begin to think reasonably, okay? Which is the second step. You must learn and believe that a panic attack is nothing to fear. Again, that is the second step, but it only comes when you're calm. One technique that works quickly is actually called panic induction, where panic is induced. You induce a panic with short, fast, heavy breathing. You realize you will not die from a panic attack, but doing this usually scares the hell out of people. However, one quickly learns that they have control of starting attacks and shutting them down like turning up and down the volume of a stereo with panic induction. The other technique is first becoming an expert at diaphragmatic breathing and then pairing your breathing with encouraging thoughts like, I'm gonna be okay, this is just a feeling, or this will pass. And then also you don't avoid the attack or the situation where the attacks are associated with. You gotta do this over and over again and in time, if you practice diligently, you will notice yourself not being anxious. Remember your brain is elastic, just as your body has learned to panic, you will now unlearn panic. So these are the techniques to help you manage your anxiety without medication. So you don't have to have Ativan or Xanax in your pocket or Clonopin. You are the power, you are the strength, you can manage your anxiety, without anything, anyone else. You've got to be self-reliant in this world. 
you got to be able to manage things on your own. You will feel better about yourself and it will generalize to other areas of your life. I mean, imagine if you're able to overcome this panic disorder on your own without medication, just using your mind and your behavior. You're going places and we're going there together.